Hello, this video talks about developing leadership. Leadership roles can and perhaps should look different at different levels of your organization and even from school to school. The reason is because each level of your organization has different responsibilities, different goals, different challenges, different opportunities, and different priorities. Finding the right combination of leaders to not only make each individual level of your organization successful, but who also can work collaboratively with other leaders across your organization is the key to successful school leadership. In this section, we'll start by examining your organization and determining what leadership roles are needed at which level and what each of their missions and priorities should be. Next, we'll help you better define those leadership roles and set expectations for not only the leader, but their department and team members as well. We'll also share how to establish your own unique leadership development program. Leadership development programs are critical to your organization for three primary reasons. First, they make sure your current leaders have the information and training necessary to perform and grow in their current roles. Second, they provide a pipeline for emerging leaders who may likely be guiding your school system in the future. And finally, leadership development programs allow your school to identify and cultivate those team members who may not be in a leadership role currently, but could be a right fit for later on. At Harmony, we have multiple leadership development programs, including a principal resident program that identifies educators who would like to get on track for campus leadership. We also have a robust Harmony Aspiring Leaders Academy that prepares future Harmony leaders by focusing on expanding participants' repertoire of leadership skills. Finally, in our leadership development section, we'll teach you our system for leadership coaching and evaluation. Just as coaching and evaluation can be beneficial for developing and supporting teachers, they can also be useful tools for developing and supporting school leaders through a cycle of continuous improvement. Coaching and evaluation are complementary, yet they have distinctively different objectives. Coaching provides an opportunity for school leaders to develop and hone skills in order to reach their full potential and exceed established expectations, while evaluation serves as an accountability tool to assess if school leaders are meeting established expectations. Through coaching, school leaders can work with coaches to identify professional strengths and areas for growth. From there, they might prioritize areas for growth and develop an action plan for how they will be addressed. For more information on Harmony's best practices in leadership development or to access these resources and more, please contact schoolmodel at harmonytx.org.